Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to be doing my December wrap up of 2015. This month I only read three books, not very many. I plan to read a whole lot more, but didn't get to them and I just, I want to read the Sword of Shinra and the Elf Stones and probably finish it up, but didn't really get to it. So the first book was a library book that I borrowed from the library, and this is Dark, Shin Dark Wrath of Shannara. And this is a graphic novel, and it is 3.5 in the series. So we have the first volume, second volume, and third volume, and this is the 3.5 after it. This deals with, I believe, Will. No. Uh, Possess of Power. Um, this is with young Jar Amistad, and it also recaps um, the books as well. We have the prologue and stuff with, um, you know, it says in the tale known as Shinora, Sword of Shinora, the warlock lord, once known, once a wise druid and Brana, summoned to the dark magic of Tren of a dread tome known as the Isisar that sought, sought the mastery over the other races. The druid of Alinar, protector of the four lands, um, constrived Shia Amathos, descended at the great elven house of Shinara, to rediscover the mythic story. After much adventure, the blade of truth was revealed and empowered Shia to van vanquish the well, like lords, and then they have Offstones and I believe the Wish Song. So, and this one is about Yara, I think, and um, it's, it also has Will, I believe, too, and Alan as well. So, um, this one is kind of has a more of a um, kind of a witch bad guy in it, which I really like. Um, the graphic design wasn't, it was only simple black and white. Um, I didn't really like this, I'd rather it be in color because I love color graphic novels and the use of color. <laughs> so, being black and white is really amazing. Um, but I do think the details were really good as well, if you can see. The details of the pictures and stuff, how they use fire, and I also love the little part in the back, um, it talked about, um, um, it really talked about, like, how they created the artwork, what techniques they used, and it was just really, really good, um, they, the artist, um, who is listed here, um, Edwin David, got with Terry Brooks to see what kind of feel he would want, and I really enjoyed that, so yes. The second book I read was The Sword of Shinara by Terry Brooks, um, another one, but this is the first volume in the, sword, the um, original Shinara series. This one is about, um, yeah, Open Force, and um, I really love, I really like this book, um, I love the ending, but um, it does have similarities to Lord of the Rings, I think, you know, just the similarities, and um, there is this epic bad guy that you have to kill, but I believe this series is very different than Lord of the Rings, because it's spanned over centuries of time, and Lord of the Rings only deals with, like, I think Lord of the Rings has a much more extensive background and stuff like that. So it does have more like Norse mythology, I believe, in in its work, which is interesting. Um, but this one was is more um, like based off of Lord of the Rings, but like a similar plot. This is, was also Terry, Terry Brooks' first novel, um, which I highly, highly recommend Terry Brooks' other novels as well. So yeah, this got a 4 out of 5. I really enjoyed um, this book. So yeah. The last book 
I read, and this is read from my TBI guide, read a children's novel. And this is a children's, well, it's a picture book, actually, I think it's the challenge. And it's If You Give a Mouse a Cookie, by, written by Lauren Numerous and illustrated by Blue Siobhan. And I love this story. This one was, I think I gave it a 5 out of 5. And this one is, has really good illustrations. Obviously, my copy is not like the big book, which costs money. This one is a tiny book, and I love the illustrations on them. Like, I love the, like, illustrations are just really um, superb and interesting. <coughs> and I love the way when you look at the mouse and what he does and all of this stuff. It just has really good um, illustrations. Um, this book also rhymed, I believe, so it did have a rhythmatic, rhythmatic um, repeat, re repeating system, like Dr. Seuss and other children's books that I have read and really enjoyed. Um, and I also really loved um, just um, some of the you know, um, literature as well in this book. So this is also illustrated by Felicia Bond. Just wanted to, yeah. And that is all I read in, um, what, um, in December. Um, the next, the new year is coming up. I'm super excited for it. And I hope you see more. Um, so yeah. And if you like this video, click on my face or subscribe. Probably subscribe, don't click on my face because it's not going to do anything. Um, <laughs> and anyway, have a great um, day. Bye.